think a lot of people have fears around therapy because of the unknown of like, I don't know what it looks like. All I've seen is what I see on TV or what I've seen on The Sopranos or something like that. And so there is like this expectation of it's going to look a certain way. It's going to go a certain way. And when they come in and they see, okay, maybe it's not so interrogative, then it feels a little easier. It feels like, okay, maybe I am in control of this. I think oftentimes people don't feel like they're in control of the process. And I think that's what's led to some not so great experiences with therapy in the past, like feeling like I'm not in control of this process. And so letting people know like, this is, you're steering the ship. You are in control of this process. You control what we talk about how we talk about it, and what the goals are ultimately what you decide the goals are. They're not based on me or what I want for you. They're based on you and what you want for yourself. I often tell clients, you know, therapy is a lot like getting in a taxi. And you can get in a taxi and you have to know where you want to go. You know, the taxi driver is not going to tell you where you want to go. So the taxi driver takes you there. And so that can be the role of a therapist. Like if you know what your end goal is and you know what your you know, what it is that you want for your life, you know, I can help support, facilitate, you know, and provide tools and skills to help you ultimately get there. But you have to know what that looks like. Let's work on finding a goal together. Let's work on finding out what it is that you're missing, what it is that you really feel like is going to improve the quality of your life. And then that kind of becomes the end point or a point. And then maybe there's another end point.